Hola, 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 buenos dias, good morning, my beautiful pool planner babes, welcome back to the channel, it's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva, it is a Monday morning, and we're jumping right into the week, and I wanted to hop on here and get my fitness program all set up for the coming week, the last week in the month of May, so that's exciting. So we're here in one of my Franken planners, this is my lemon, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, um, um, classic dashboard planner cover just the cover <laughs> the guts are somewhere floating around in my planner stash but this is my one of my franken um franken planners i have let's see fitness meal planning faith and wellness in here and i have three months at a time for this guy so four planners franken plant into here um i need to figure out how, what to call this planner i want to call it like my holistic multiverse planner <laughs> this planner really has to do with wellness in all aspects of my body like my physical um nutritional emotional and spiritual health so maybe i'll just call this my holistic health multiverse franken planner <laughs> she has a long and crazy name anyways um let me see if i can zoom in here a little bit so um this is my fitness section i have four sections in here and my first section is my fitness section i used a little wrong wrong divider um like diy to wrong, two wrong wrong dividers to make this custom section separator so this is the month of may here i'm using the tie-dye fitness planner from the happy planner and then this is the monthly so um, the monthly right now I'm using as a way to record all of my workouts. So anything that happens, it goes in here. And it's sort of a way for me to look back at a month's workout program and see exactly how much I'm doing in a month. I love to decorate it as well. And I use mild liners to keep track of all the different workouts. And I just realized that I need a right stretch right here. So this was the past week that just happened um first week of may second week of may and this was the week that just happened here and then we're going to be planning this week in this video so this was last week all filled out i did film this um plan with me so i will link that in the cards if you're interested in seeing how this one came to be but something i like doing before i jump into my fitness plan with me is, is reviewing the week the previously the previous week so i can kind of gauge where i am and what i want to do moving forward so this week was a bit of a mixed bag I had a very ambitious plans some of them were met some were not so monday and tuesday oh my goodness i had things planned and nothing happened nothing happened for monday and tuesday but I did all of the workouts that I said I was going to do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on Wednesday. I literally worked out for like two hours on Wednesday. Oh, except the run. Let me take a step back for a second here. So Monday, I was supposed to stretch for 15 minutes and then run. Tuesday, I was supposed to do a 15-minute ab workout, a 20-minute arm workout, and that was it. And then Wednesday, I was supposed to run and then do a 20-minute leg and booty workout. So I was super, super busy Monday and Tuesday, but Wednesday I finally was able to work out. And so I ran 2.8 miles. I also did the 15 minute ab workout and the 20 minute arm workout and the 20 minute leg and booty workout. So I did all of these workouts. Oh, and I did the stretch. I did the 15 minute leg stretch. So I did five workouts or five different things on a wednesday <laughs> it was um, intense but i was so happy that i hit all of these workouts the only thing i didn't do was the run and then i was so sore for the next two days that i really didn't do anything eight uh on thursday or friday but then on saturday i did go for a run and um I was supposed to do a 20 minute ab workout and a 15 minute arm workout on Thursday. And then I was supposed to do a run and a 15 minute leg stretch on Friday. And then on Saturday, I was supposed to do a full body workout. Sunday, I was supposed to run. And then I was supposed to hike at some point during the weekend. Um, I didn't do anything Thursday and Friday. 
But on a Saturday, what I ended up doing was running for 3.95 miles. Um, I was really happy about that. I haven't run that long of a distance in a minute, so I'm very happy about that. I did my run. I also did my 15 minute leg stretch and I did my ab workout that I was supposed to do on a Thursday. So the only things I didn't do were the 15 minute arm workout, the 15 minute kettlebell workout, and the 30 minute full body workout. And then I just didn't run over the weekend. I wanted to, or on Sunday, I didn't run. So I didn't run, but I did go on a little mini hike, 45 minute mini hike, about a mile and a half um, at a local park, um, Daily Ranch. I did a little loop around um, the lake there called Dixon Lake. So I did do that. So again, I was it was a mixed bag. I got some stuff done and others I wasn't able to do. In terms of hydration tracking, I am kind of consistently hitting a little bit over a liter. I was better with hydration Friday through Sunday. I was drinking a little bit over a liter. Friday, I probably drank the most, a liter and a half. Um, but Monday through Thursday, I'm drinking about a liter, which is only about 50% of what I want to do. I want to be consistent about drinking two liters every day. Oh, I just need to really, really focus on that. And, um, oh, my habit trackers. So I didn't hit my two liters of water a day, <laughs> any day this week. So I didn't get to check that off. Five minute stretching. I did do five minute stretching three days of the week. Um, I did both my 15 minute leg stretches this week. So I got two check marks for those. I also did manage to stretch for about five minutes, I think on Thursday. And then in terms of 10K steps, another habit that I'm trying to do is um, actually, I wasn't super good about this this week. Usually, I'm very good about hitting 10K steps, but this week I was at 7,000, 7,000. Finally, I hit 13,000 on Wednesday when I did that um, crazy intense workout day. And then on Thursday, 6,000, Friday, 8,000, Saturday, 11,000, and Sunday, 12,000. So I finally started getting back into walking um, more than 10K steps on the weekend, which is usually what happens. But I was surprised at myself that I wasn't able to walk that much this week. Um, but I am proud of myself. I'm very proud of myself. And I just realized I forgot to journal here. So let me quickly journal. Okay, so I wrote a mixed bag this week, but I'm definitely seeing progress. I'm so proud of my achievements and I'm looking forward to more because that is essentially how I feel about this week. I think I did a great job um, in terms of working out. I think I hit a lot of the workouts that I said I was going to do, but just not on the days I said I was going to do them. So we're slowly making our way there because in previous weeks, I just didn't do those workouts. Okay, and then I also decided to do a little switcheroo for my Happy Workouts program. So something i've been doing for the last couple of weeks is i give myself a point for every workout that i complete on the day that i said i was going to complete it and i've decided to make it a little bit more generous because i really want to motivate myself so i am going to give myself a point for every single workout that i said i was going to do regardless of whether i do it on the day i said i was going to do it and also i'm going to give myself a point for every single um day that i hit 10k steps and also a point for every day i drink two liters of water so I could probably earn a maximum of maybe 35 points per week, somewhere between 28 and 35 points, depending on how many workouts I give myself um, each day, because sometimes I only give myself two and then sometimes I give myself three. But if I give myself on average two workouts per day, plus there's three different um, habit trackers that I can meet, I could earn up to five points per day. That might be a little too generous for me, especially since I'm trying to be on a no buy. So I'm thinking of potentially changing that system up, but for now we'll stick with the $1.1 system that I have going on. So for this week, I earned, let's see, one point, two points, three points, four points, five points, six points, seven points, eight points, nine points, 10 points, 11 points. And then I stretched another one of these days, um, 12 points. And then did I count this one? I think it's 13 points. 
So let me get those points down, 13. And I think I had seven coming in. So now I have 20 points total. Okay, I hope that made sense. I feel like I'm, well, I was rambling a little bit. Anyways, let's move on to the new week. So I'll pull out these pages and this is the last week in the month of May, so that is exciting. And I have my big fitness sticker pack right here with me. So we're gonna be pulling for that. And then as always, I think I'm gonna pull for a nice big washi tape. Ooh, I could maybe put it like right here. I feel like it's a little too big for uh, the bottom there, but I could lay it down right here. I wonder if this washi tape will cut with the washi tape cutter. It's a bit of a thicker washi tape. Oh no, it cut pretty nicely. Perfect. My boyfriend bought me this washi tape um, like three Christmases ago. Our first Christmas that we spent together. And then for the bottom, I'm thinking of adding this rainbow washi tape at the top here. So cute. I'm always looking for an excuse to use this rainbow washi tape. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. And then I think it would be cute to layer like this bright yellow um, dot washi tape right underneath it, like so. And maybe just a little bit more just so that we can take it to the very bottom. I like providing a little bit of a background here on the bottom because this bottom row is where I put my Fitbit stat trackers. So I like to see a little bit of color just peeping out um, behind the trackers. So I like using washi tape down here to give myself a nice background. I love like the contrast of color there. Okay, so we have that. And then, um, guess what, y'all? I broke my no buy over this past weekend. I bought this sticker storage situation thing from the Happy Planner. Um, when it first came out, I wasn't really interested in it. But now that I've been making my own stickers, um, because I haven't cut them yet and they're still kind of in um, their uncut form, I haven't really figured out how exactly I want to like uh, print them eventually, you know, in their final form. But I'm thinking of potentially printing them so that they fit into these Happy Planner um, stickers storage sheets. So, so potentially thinking of like printing my stickers out in the same size as the Happy Planner stickers. And so right now I am storing them in these um, sticker storage pockets from the Happy Planner. And I just had a bunch of these like floating around and I didn't really know how to store them, where to store them. Unfortunately, like the skinny planner from the Heavy Planner is a little bit too narrow to effectively store these. Like these pockets kind of stick out from the skinny planner. I was thinking of storing them using like a skinny planner cover, but the skinny planner just wasn't cutting it. And so I got the idea of using this guy. Um, I thought this would be perfect. And actually this one, this um, sticker storage book came with like these weird like sticky tabs that you are supposed to like stick sticker sheets on, but I honestly am never going to use those. So I just tossed those and I just am using this to store all of my stickers. Um, so I want my Fitbit stat stickers here. So let me pull out, let's see, I'll pull out these guys here. And let me lay these down. All right, perfect. That's set up. Now, moving on to planning out the workouts for this week. Let's start off with our running trackers. Running is something that I am you know, trying to keep on top of. Let's see, what kind of stickers do I have here? I have these like tiny ones. Should we use the tiny ones? Um, okay, let's grab that one. I wanna get rid of the tiny ones. I really like this size the most, but I don't wanna waste the tiny ones that I have. So I'm just trying to get rid of the tiny ones. Okay. And I'm trying to run five times this week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 
and then sun saturday actually i'm gonna keep it for four times per week let me see if i can do four times a week consistently before i start shooting for five times a week and then moving on to stretching 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 where are my stretching stickers um uh, oh there they are stretching so i stretched on saturday so i think the next time i'm gonna stretch is on wednesday so i'll use this big old sticker here i'm gonna try to use up these bigger stickers as well because these things are huge um i don't really want to <laughs> print them out this big anymore um so on wednesday i'm gonna stretch and then on Saturday, I'm going to stretch 15 minute leg stretch. Oh, and walking stickers. I don't really put down walking stickers. Um, I used to, but not anymore because these walking stickers, I'm usually walking. And so I don't really need to be putting them down. But for days that um, I have, you know, room on the day, to add a walking sticker because these are big stickers and they do take up room and sometimes I feel like I need more room and so I try to save myself some space when I can so I don't put down these walking stickers unless I want to and I have the room um but these are new walking stickers these were my old walking stickers and I still really like both of these stickers honestly um this one is completely hand drawn and then this one i used um canva to design like the fonts and like the outside line for the box but i drew the little guy and um i drew the walk font there i like both of these stickers i'm not sure which one i like better i kind of like this one a little bit better but i don't know i think i'm gonna try a couple more walking stickers before i settle on like the one that i like the most okay and then saturday okay now let's move on to strength workouts and actually let me grab some hydration trackers um before i forget let's move on to strength workouts i'm gonna grab my fitness book here let's start off with monday monday i try not to do too much because i'm usually really really busy <laughs> on mondays so let me get into um these workouts stickers let me find some nice boxes okay so i'll start off with monday um i'm gonna grab some workout boxes here and i usually try not to do too much on monday like a run and a quick like 15 minute workout is about the extent of what i want to do so um let's start with 15 minute arms so arms 15 minutes because i didn't do the arm workout that i was supposed to do last week so this arm workout i didn't do and then Tuesday, let's start off with kettleball workout. And then this is going to be 15 minutes. And then let's do another abs workout. So abs, 15 minutes. Perfect. And that's all I'm going to do for Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to run and stretch. That's all I'm going to do. And then Thursday, we're going to do um a legs and booty workout and this is going to be 20 minutes and then on top of that we are going to do another abs workout abs 15 minutes okay and then friday we're going to run and then i am going to do arms arms 20 minutes and then saturday running and stretching and then we're gonna do a full body workout hopefully i keep on saying i'm gonna do this and it never happens so we'll see full body workout 30 minutes okay and then sunday and then sunday oof this one's gonna be hard because i know i'm gonna be super super busy sunday i'm going to an event in los angeles 
might be all day thing so i'm kind of nervous about planning like a workout for sunday um so okay i'll just put one and then this workout is going to be let's see i don't know i'm so nervous about um, planning any workouts for sunday what about a foam roller session i think that's something i can um do and then 15 minutes okay perfect so there we have that and i think that is the extent of the workout program for this week so i'm just going to add a little bit of decoration here and there let's see a little progress each day adds up to big results i'm gonna add this quote there that is so so true oh something that i'm really really excited to share about my fitness journey is that like a few weeks ago maybe like two months ago i was getting ready to go salsa dancing with my boyfriend and i was going to wear the super cute two-piece outfit that i had um that i've had for a while and it's like a, a pink like crop top that's flouncy and then the bottom is like a high-waisted flouncy mini skirt it's a very very cute outfit and i've worn it a bunch of times i've worn it dancing i've worn it partying i've worn it you know in various occasions before but i hadn't worn it in a while i hadn't worn it in like two three months and so i pulled it out of my closet to go salsa dancing and you will not believe it unfortunately i was unable to fit into this um outfit i couldn't zip there's like a zipper on the side of the skirt that zips up and i wasn't able to close the zipper like i wasn't able to zip it all the way to the top by maybe like four inches and I was so sad because I have been always used to fitting into this outfit. And so this was like the first time that I was not able to fit into this outfit. And so it was super, super sad because it was very clear to me that I had gained weight. And that was something that honestly, I could tell just by looking at my body and, and based on like how much I was exercising and eating around that time, it was just a time in my life where I was eating a lot um, and not really exercising as much. I made it like a goal to be able to fit back into this outfit. And so um, like two, three weeks ago, I, I went out for my birthday with friends and I tried on the outfit again. I wanted to see if I could fit into it and I could fit into it. And I'm gonna share a picture of that like on the screen, but this is the outfit I'm talking about. And I was so, so happy to be able to fit back into this outfit and it's just, so nice when you can really see physical like results and fitting into outfits is one goal that i like to use to motivate me and and it's also a good benchmark for me to know you know if i am seeing results because i don't weigh myself i don't measure myself i honestly don't care about weight or measurements but what I do care about is like very functional, like realizable goals, like fitting into outfits, especially outfits that I have fit into before. I have a couple of outfits that are kind of like my canary in a coal mine outfit, <laughs> where if I cannot fit into these, um, then it tells me that I am definitely gaining weight because these are tight outfits. Anyways, I'm so happy I'm able to fit back into these outfits. Okay, so I'm going to leave the rest of the days um, empty like this because I want to leave room for adding more stickers and journaling and decorating. The last thing that I'm going to do is I am going to set up my habit trackers with some mild liners. So let me pull out some mild liners here. Or you know what? I'm going to use my Sharpie um, S notes. I haven't used these to create some habit trackers. Uh, oh, I only have these two in like these bluish colors. So I'll use a mild liner. Okay, so let's start off with um, 10K steps and then I will do um stretching for five minutes and then the hydration tracker oh and that reminds me i need to add these hydration trackers as well so i will do that as well 
Okay, that's it. My habit trackers came out a little wonky because I still haven't figured out exactly how I want to set up like the dots here. Um, it's kind of awkward because there's three on one row and then four on the other. And then sometimes the marker that I'm using is a little too thick. And so it's hard to really do like four dots like this. I don't know. I'm going to play around with different like formations with the dots for <laughs> the days because I think it's kind of wonky, but that's okay. So let me just punch out these holes. Perfect. And I think I need to punch out this one as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, the hydration trackers. So let me cut out seven of these. These are one sticker that I really, really can't wait for. Um, me to get the cricket because these guys are a little wonky so i wonder if i put them like at the top kind of like this because i find that these hydration trackers kind of take up a lot of room but i wonder if i kind of have them just like this at the very top whether that would be a good look like so so we have monday wednesday thursday there I kind of like that because um, it looks like rain clouds at the very top. It kind of looks sad though. So I might, what I might do is redo this sticker and then try to make it uh, cuter. Like I'll add like a rainbow in it. I think that's a good idea. There we go. Perfect. Now I can put these hydration trackers back. Slide them in here. Put this away. Now I can finally put my pages back into my fitness planner. Let's see. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Love it. And that is it, everyone. We have finally reached the end here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Let me know how your fitness programs are going in the comments down below. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe. Blessings on you and your family and your loved ones. Have a wonderful time playing in your planners this week. Don't forget, it doesn't have to be perfect. I will hopefully see you in my next video. Adiós.